Lada got the win in game one as our as the Yale starting pitcher. It's a hard ball into left field, and that's going to go all the way to the wall. It could possibly score a run. Being waved around is Donahue. Play at the plate. Not in time. Beat the throw, and Donahue scores the second run of the game. Yeah, we'll have a non-conference tilt against Fairfield on Wednesday as the 3-1 hit in the air to left center field, and that is beyond the glove of Lotta, the left fielder, and going into second base is Angelino. Trying to push across a run here with a base knock. Hits it into shallow center field, and it drops in for a base knock, and then it gets by the center fielder, Donahue, in rounding second, heading for third, maybe for more. It's Cam, and she'll score. 2-0 the count on Vivas, who's 0 for 2. Hit a pinch hit home run in game one. Getting the start here in game two, and does the same thing as in game one. A go-ahead two-run home run, and the Bulldogs have a 4-2 lead. Second home run of the day for number 35. RBI number six and seven. But more importantly, giving the Bulldogs a two-run lead and maybe more as going yard. Here is Donahue. Back-to-back -back home runs. Katie Donahue going yard. Her second home run of the season, and it's 5-2. Lot of one for two this afternoon. It hits a high fly ball into right field, and you can forget about this one. Home run for Maddie Lotta. She had one in game one and has one here in game two. And it ups the lead to four. Two, two, could be two. McFadden on the second for one. The throw on the first in time. Four, six, three, twin killing. And that retires the side. Nicely done by McFadden to Farron to Bupre. Popped up to the shortstop, and that will do it. As Scotes makes the catch, and the Yale Bulldogs win both game one and game two of this doubleheader here at Dartmouth Softball Park.